Hey guys, this is Keith with Intech, and we're here today to look at the brand new 2023 Flyer Explorer. Flyer Explorer is a small toy hauler. It's just under 14 feet in length and weighs right about 1,900 pounds when it's all optioned out. So light, easy to tow with most any vehicle. But what's really neat about this unit, just like all Intex, is the way it's constructed with our all aluminum frame cage construction. So let's jump and take a look at that first. All right, so this is what really sets an Intech apart from anything else you're gonna see out there when you peel back the walls and see how it's constructed. So what we do is we build our own aluminum chassis and base frame for every single unit. And then there's an aluminum cage that is then welded together and welded on top. So this is one solid welded structure before it ever starts down the production line. And what's unique about that is how most RVs are gonna be made is they're gonna have laminated walls that will then eventually throughout the process be screwed or stapled down to the floor. And then the roof is the same way. It's gonna be screwed or stapled to the sidewalls. So you can imagine, in particular with something like a flyer, when you're going in very demanding conditions and roads and, and off the beaten path, all the twisting that that unit's trying to do. And if it's just screwed or stapled together, you're gonna to see things like caulk joints fail. You're gonna see things like cabinetry fail. With this, one solid structure, all tube construction, completely welded together extremely strong and can handle any of the demands that you're going to put it through. All right, so back to the finished Flyer product here. So on the front end of your Flyer Explorer, you're going to have a tongue box on board. This is going to give you a little bit of storage, but it's also going to be a location now where we place the batteries. So it's a change from last year's model. Also where you're going to find your battery switch. So you got an on off. You can kick that off when you're done camping and make sure you're not draining anything out of the battery. Also on the front, you are now going to have a 20 pound LP tank that's going to be standard. And that's going to have a quick connect over on the camping side of the unit. Um, no matter whether you get our kitchen option or you don't, that will come with the unit. All right, also on the front, you're going to see you're going to have a full size spare that's always mounted on the front end of the Flyer Explorer. As we come around to the side, you'll see like all the flyers, everything's gonna be a full aluminum skin. So this is gonna be an 040 aluminum skin. You can select this color right here. So this is our charcoal color. There's four other colors available. You can go with silver, white, red, or black for this color. You'll always have the ATP finish across the bottom. And then you're gonna have a storage compartment here in the front. Now this one is optioned with our slide out kitchen. If it did not have the slide out kitchen, this would just be an open storage compartment. When you get the kitchen option, this simply slides out. You have a two burner cooktop on the unit. It has this table here that operates on these uh, buttons and this will just pop off. This is when it's in the storage mode when you're going down the road, but then when you're set up at your campsite, this goes to the front of the unit and gives you an L-shaped kitchen design to give you some prep space for the rest of your kitchen area. Uh, you will have a 45 quart refrigerator on board. This has a compressor, so it can go down to whatever temperature you want to set it. It has temperature settings here in the back. Uh, also, as you look up behind there, you'll see there's a little light. So you can light this up in the evenings. This will shoot light across the entire kitchen for you. You also have access here to a water pump. So this is new for 2023 on flyers. The uh, Explore can be optioned with an eight and a half gallon water system. And I'll show you where that feeds out to here in a second. And then you have an on off switch for your fridge. So if you can't ac easily access behind this to the on off on the switch, fridge itself, you can actually just hit the switch to activate the fridge and then set your temperature settings. As we come around to the side of the kitchen, you'll see a quick connect port for the water. So this comes with a spray hose that just connects right in there and that will access your eight and a half gallons. So now that your kitchen set up, you can use your spray hose. It's also long enough to reach around to the back end of the unit. So if you need to spray off something on the unit or dirty equipment that you're trying to load in, it'll reach back there for you as well. And that is an option on the 2023 Flyer. Coming along the side, you'll see we've got our Intex step here on the side. This is actually part of the frame. So you can step up on this, get you better access up to the roof rack or to access your awning. And then once again, you've got your off-road tires on this design here. So well, this one has the, what we call our adventure package. It gives you the off-road tires, the kitchen, a roof rack, and an AC. But when you do that, it gives a more aggressive 235 wide tire versus the standard 205. 
And again, you've got that matching spare that's on the front end of the unit. You'll see there's stabilizer jacks. So there'll be two in the back and there's two in the front as well. Uh, new for 2023, there's always two in the front, whether you get the kitchen or not. It used to be you had to option in the kitchen to get the stabilizer jacks. Now those are always standard on every model in 2023. As we look up, you're gonna see our roof rack. That is a custom made Intech design roof rack there. It uh, has crossbars that are actually adjustable. So you can slide those crossbars forward and back, which makes it really handy depending on what you're trying to attach. So if you wanna put a rooftop tent, the tube design we use will uh, accommodate pretty much any rooftop tent. It has a rating of 250 up there when you're, when you're sitting still. So most of any rooftop tent will work on it. And you could attach that to the top of the Flyer Explorer. Or if you're setting up kayak racks or different items, you can adjust those bars to wherever they need to be. You also see this one comes optioned with our 270 degree awning. This awning will flip out to the front of the unit and it'll go around and it'll cover your kitchen area. So now if you're up in the kitchen, you're all be, you'll be covered from the sun up here. And then it's got a small flip out that goes straight out towards the back just to extend some of your shade on the camping side of the camper. You'll see a little loading light here on the side of the unit. That's access from the inside to give you light on the exterior. As we come around to the back side of the Explorer, here you'll see the ramp door. Um, this is how it comes standard, is with a ramp. You can option in double doors in the back if you don't want to have the ramp function, but most of the time ramp is a perfect fit for this unit. You also see we redesigned the back end with a slightly different spoiler style to it. So it has this three inch spoiler that sticks off the back, a little more protection for rain from the inside of the unit and a nice aesthetic look to it. On top of the spoiler there, you'll see you'll have a loading light. So this will work as your marker lights when you're going down the road, but then it also has a switch where you can kick that on and you can give good light to the back end of the unit and give you, a, give you another loading light there. Down low, you'll see we use a two inch receiver like on all of our products. That's got a 175 pound weight rating. So for storage racks or bike carriers, it's perfect for you. Coming around to the off camp side of the unit, here you'll find some of your other, your plugins and your water fill features. So when you get the water system, we got your water fill, which will have a city water hookup. And then it'll also have a fill going to that eight and a half gallon tank. You'll have your 30 amp shore cord plug in. And then this is a solar port. So if you had a portable solar system, you could plug directly into here and this is feeding right into the batteries. Up here is for the furnace. So new for this year, there's a furnace option available on flyers versus the heat strip in the AC. Um, by removing the heat strip, now we can give you a furnace running off your LP. So if you're dry camping and you're not able to get to shore power, you can still have heat inside the Explorer. So that's a quick look at the exterior of the unit. Let's jump inside and look at those features. All right, stand on the back of the Explorer. Now we're on the ramp door. This ramp door has a 2000 pound rating, 500 pounds per contact point. So plenty of capacity to handle anything you're loaded inside the Explorer. Um, coming up into the unit, you'll see that we use uh, six contact or six points where you can strap down. So these are right through our three quarter inch floor. Um, we use a three quarter inch dry max flooring on the Explorer. So you have a nice heavy duty floor, whatever you're gonna pull in, you're gonna have plenty of strength for. As you look up the sides, you're gonna see, you're gonna have some storage nets um, towards the front of the units. We, at, we changed up the cabinet design to where now you have a couple of little cubby accents right down below the countertop. And then you also have a cubby up above the countertop there to give you plenty of storage. New for this year then, you'll see this tower on the side. And this is gonna give you a little storage up above and then you're gonna see a furnace down below it. So when you option in the LP furnace, there would normally be a cubby here, but by option in the LP furnace, you're gonna have your vents blowing out from the LP furnace and then your return air vent on the side of the unit. Up across the front there, you're gonna have a stereo. You will also have your, uh, your uh, converter up front. The converter is set for lead acid batteries the way we send it out, but there's a switch inside that converter where you can change it over to lithium. So if you wanna upgrade your system to lithium, it's very simple and easy to do. Off to the side here is gonna be our bed. The bed is currently in the storage position, so this is how you'd be going down the road with it. 
So let me open this up for you so you can see what that looks like. This Explorer we're looking at here has the single tip out, which comes standard on the road side of the unit. You can also option in a second tip out that goes on the curb side. When you do the curbside option, it does eliminate the side entry door because of the size of the tip out. And then in the rear, you'll automatically go to the double rear doors for your entry point instead of the ramp door. All right, so here's your bed in the open position. This is a 48 by 80 inch bed. So plenty of good sleeping space on it. Uh, another neat thing about the Explorer is once your gear would be out, you also have your floor space. So the floor right here is gonna be six feet wide and then you're gonna be eight feet one inches long up to that front cabinet. So again, giving you plenty of room for most any motorcycle, dirt bike, four wheeler to fit inside here. But once you're in camp mode, if you need to set up additional mattresses on the floor, you've got the room to do that as well. Another thing that's kind of cool about Flyer is we make it very customizable. Um, we talked a little bit about using the three quarter inch floor. So this is a dry max floor. You can go through great screw retention. You can screw, add additional tie down points anywhere you would want. But also on the walls, we do the same thing. So it goes down to closer to a little bit less than a 3 8 inch wall thickness. But again, we're using a wood on that. It's a Luan wood. And then we cover it with carpet. And what's unique and neat about that is with the carpet covering as handlebars or you know gear gets thrown in here, you're not gonna be worried about scratching it or damaging it. Carpet's gonna keep that all hidden for you. Um, having that thicker wall, you don't have to worry about punching a hole through it because if we use just a standard RV wall board, you wouldn't have much strength as gear would hit that or as a handlebar might hit it. Um, the other thing you can do is you can easily attach, you got great screw retention, so you can attach uh, you know, it's not a TV to it if you want to put additional racking for fishing poles, guns, things like that. Very easy to modify this unit to what you want it to be. We even provide the frame overlay prints. So if you want to see where all those aluminum studs are that we were looking at back in the construction, you could find exactly where those are at so that you could then go ahead and screw and attach directly into the studs of the unit. So we talked a little bit about the furnace already. So for providing heat inside the unit, you can option that furnace. The other option is the AC. So up above here, we have a 11,000 BTU AC. It's got onboard controls, more than enough to keep this unit cool, even in hot conditions with the tip out bed open, you'll find that performs very well. The, on the side wall, you'll see that we have a max air fan control. And that control is, has the ability to actually try and regulate temperature to some degree. Obviously, it can only use what's available outside or inside the camper, but you can set a thermostat or you can set a temperature to it, and then it can try and pull in or push out air depending on what it needs to do to try and maintain temperature inside the unit. The other nice thing about that is we use one that has a rain hood on it. So if you want to run this while it's raining because you say you don't have 120 volt power or shore power to run your air conditioning, you can run that in the rain, you can use your windows, crack those, and try and keep air moving through this unit. So that's a quick look at our new 2023 Flyer Explorer. Thanks for watching.